If you're prone to nightmares, Dark's premise of a psychological horror game set in a lucid dream might just make you uncomfortably squirm in your chair. But its somber, monochromatic art style and puzzles that bend the laws of physics are too alluring a siren song to pass up. Because even at its bleakest, Dark is beautiful. Dark fixates on submerging you in a dreamscape that doesn't elaborate much in the way of a backstory. There's no initial title screen, even. Instead, a decaying apartment with a boy quivering at the center appears at launch. This is Dark's protagonist, Lloyd. He's at the mercy of his unconscious mind, desperate to wake up. The story is intentionally opaque to replicate that fuzzy details feeling when you try to recall a dream from memory. More thoughts and feelings, less plot and exposition. This works in its favor. The best way to digest the story is by theorizing with others about what it all means. It's the kind of mystery that fuels a good water cooler chat. For example, there's a recurring motif of physical illness in the set dressing. An intensive care unit, or ICU, can be heard beeping away periodically in the background, while several enemies are wheelchair bound and sickly. Maybe Lloyd is asleep in a hospital having suffered some kind of injury. Who knows? Dark's storyline is cryptic without delving into pretension, and it's a treat taking it all in for interpretation. Dark's mechanics are pretty clever too. The trial and error puzzle solving nature of games like Limbo and Insider here, yet there are not quite as many brutal fail states. Throughout each chapter is a smattering of levers that shift the camera's perspective or change the layout of a room. Sometimes, progression is as simple as hitting a lever so that a drawbridge shifts to a perpendicular angle so that Lloyd can walk up to it and onto the ceiling. In other cases, turning a crank might swap out a room for a completely different environment. You'll spend most of your time fiddling about with these lever-based puzzles, and they're pretty enjoyable. The very first puzzle is a real noggin scratcher and sets just the right difficulty curve. There's a barred gate, and the only way to get past is to power up a giant mechanical contraption that's missing three cogs from its engine. The first cog comes easy, and the second is just gated behind a simple sliding jigsaw puzzle nearby. However, the third is from the ceiling and requires a bit of wall walking to reach. You can easily get stuck if you forget that oh-so-essential aspect of Dark. Lloyd is inside a dream. Here, logic need not always apply. The fabric of this world sometimes requires manipulation to proceed. Kind of like Valve asking you to start thinking with portals, a shift in layout is key to progression. Stealth is also a big part of Dark, but it isn't as successful in this regard. At one point, there's a grotesque creature that only responds to touch. You just have to hug the walls as it slowly patrols to and fro to avoid it. Pretty standard stealth game fodder. The trouble is, this takes place in front of a room that needs to be accessed several times, so the result is a lot of thumb twiddling as the beast creeps by at an agonizingly slow pace. Try to bolt pass and you'll get tackled and met with the game over. These sorts of encounters are all over dark and they get old fast. Monotony is a surefire way to kill potential scares. Dark isn't as scary as it wants to be, and those occasionally tedious enemy encounters aren't solely responsible for this. While the cracked kitchen floor tiles and stained wallpaper of Lloyd's apartment accentuate the industrial monochromatic aesthetic, the overall mood is more creepy than scary. And that's fine, except that Dark clearly wants you to be afraid of its jump scares. For example, instead of just being able to breathe in the air of a haunting theater, you'll be subjected to a cheap, booming jump scare that kills the mood. Suddenly, the unsettling, dreamlike vibe is ruined by loud noises. While the scares miss the mark, Dark is too tantalizing a mystery to ignore. An initial playthrough should take in the ballpark of four hours to complete, and brevity turns out to be one of Dark's strengths. It's short, sweet, and loaded with little quirks and details scattered throughout that you might not notice initially. Collectible files that flesh out the story are also tucked away in each chapter, and you better bring a fine-tooth comb if you want to find them all. The sense of unsettled wonder along the way of helping Lloyd navigate his nightmares is strong and barely diminished by Dark's frustrating stealth encounters and cheap jump scares. Just like a dream, Dark can be as baffling as it is beautiful at times, but it's a wonderful taste of surrealism rarely seen in games. You can read our full written review for Dark on IGN.com, or check out other recent reviews like Rebel Galaxy Outlaw and Age of Wonders Planetfall. And for everything else, keep it right here at IGN.